And this is rural Indiana. Oh, we got a truck coming down the road. We better be careful. And here are some of our farm fields. This field here is soybeans. And it is fall, which is a busy time for farmers. It's when they get back in the field to harvest their crop. And this is the barn that you keep your cow in here? Yep. And is this one of the cows that you show in 4-H? Uh, yes. Okay, is it a steer or a heifer? A steer. Okay, will you show us, take us inside? Uh, yes. Yeah. have ducks. Yeah, two ducks. They have two ducks right there. Are the ducks just pets or do you do something with your ducks? Uh, I don't know we keep them There's the ducks right I hear the ducks. Sorry about the oh, what? Watch this. You said it was a heifer? Uh, yeah, it's a heifer. A heifer. What's her name? Francine. Francine. So will Francine be going to the county fair next year? Yeah, Newton County Fair. The Newton County Fair. Will you be showing her? Yes. Oh. And where do you keep your other cows? Uh. Out uh, in the field over there. Oh. We keep some that... Wait, we got rid of the cows over there. Now they live over at the shop. Okay, so your other place is where your other cows stay. Uh, yeah, the shop. Yep. That's where all of them are. And is the shop where you keep all of your farming equipment? Uh, we no. have a shelf back there that we keep some stuff on. And the barn over then there. Then at the shop, that's where my dad works. And is that where your dad keeps his farming equipment? Uh, yes, and he, and he works there he has a whole shed full of tools okay you want to show us the other barn too you said yeah uh, the one that we work in we're at that big area over there the big farm crib? the crib you want to show us the old crib yes I do. this is a crib they call it a crib on a farm and it's used to store grain in um, they occasionally store grain in this crib, but the boys like to play in this old building. So we're going to show you this old building. We usually, we usually build stuff over in that area and use stuff from over here. Right, the, boys, like the boys like to come here and hang out mm -hmm. and kind of play. So tell me more. There's usually bigger tractors here. So we can yeah. play like hide and seek or something. Sometimes this. there's a combine back here. What's this big piece of machinery right here? Do you know this? Um, I might have to step, let me step down and I'll. This is one of my dad's pieces of farming equipment. And it is used to make cow feed, I think. Okay, to bale hay maybe? Big round bales? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is hay that we like to play on a lot. But what is hay used for? It's usually uh, used for bedding. No, it's used to feed animals. Yeah, cow, feed animal and yeah, bedding. Yeah, we feed cow with it, and then there's some hay in the crib that we feed the cow. Right. Farmers will usually do big round bales like the ones behind you, or they'll do square bales that are smaller. We have yeah. one back there behind it. So any farm animal that eats grass, we don't have grass growing in the winter, and so farmers need to store hay to feed those animals. Whether it's sheep, or horses, or cows, or goats, or whatever that animal would be. Okay, would you like to show them how you play on it? Sure. Okay. Now we are in one of the, uh, at 
one of the fields. This is a soybean field. The seeds are planted in the spring. They grow up all summer, and they are harvested in the fall. And what's this machine behind you called that's coming at us? This is a combine. This is a combine. Uh, people use it to make grow crops. They, they harvest the crops. Yeah. Yes, it's used to harvest crops. And right now you're harvesting your soybeans. Mm -hmm. And you have some soybeans to show us. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. Oh, but Brayden just dropped it. We'll get one more in a little bit. Why don't you, oh, you have some in your pocket? Well, let's go get some. Oh, you got some. Open that up and let's see them. We're going to talk about these soybeans next. Go. Steve Eilers is farming soybeans. Soybeans are small pan circles. They are a plant that farmers grow in big areas <coughs> called fields. This is a field. And, but your dad mostly farms what? Uh, corn, corn and soybeans. Corn and soybeans. And here's the combine coming now. We're going to get a good picture of it coming next, okay? Can, can we stop your dad and... Jacob's dad is now loading what they call the auger wagon, which is hooked up to this large tractor. A large truck will come to the farm. They will load the large truck from this auger wagon and take it to an elevator. So Jacob, can you explain kind of how a combine works? Do you understand it? No, not really. Okay. What's this bar? What's the bar in the front doing? What's it, this rotating thing in the front doing? It is harvesting the crops. Yep. It's there's cutters down there at the very bottom, and those cutters cut off the plant, and then that wheel scoops the stalk into the bottom of the combine. And then do you know what the combine does, kind of under where we're sitting? Do you know what it's doing? Um, Want to explain to you? Uh, Your dad can help us out, can he? It's a thing called a concave, and it sucks the crops in, grabs yeah, he them. he told me that one time, but I forgot. Yeah. Then the concave drags them in, there's a big rotor. It looks like a big bullet. It's spinning really fast. And it throws the beans against the walls of these grates, and it throws, forces the beans out, and it throws the junk out the back. So it's separating the, the soybean from the rest of the plant. You know where a combine got its name from? 
is a combine, it combines a picker and a sheller in one machine. In the old days, you had a picker that would pick the crops, and then you had a separate machine that would have to separate the crops later. So this combines both things in one operation. Seven, eight bushels right here. Eight and one bushels. We That's have, yeah, we have computers inside our combines that tell us lots of information. And then right behind where we're sitting is called the hopper. Right, 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 right. Okay. And the hopper is where the soybeans are stored until we go back to the auger wagon to unload them. And if you can see through this window. beans are coming out a little chute and then being held in this hopper. Okay. Uh, we sell our soybeans mostly to local grain buyers who they go to a processing plant where they're refined and the oil is taken out and used for soybean oil or diesel additives and then the rest is made into chicken feed or hog feed, almost, I'd say 90% of the local beans. So a lot of soybeans are made to feed our animals, our farm animals. And the plant, when it's growing, tell them what it looks like. It's green with leaves. Has a, yeah, it grows green with lots of leaves. This is what it looks like when it's dried up and ready to be harvested. This is one of the little pods, and that is the inside. Okay, hold it still so they can see it. There you go. You got one left in there. The others fell out, didn't they? Yeah. Now show them the soybeans in your hand. These are soybeans outside of the pod. All right. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. bum, 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 bum.